Hello everyone, today we will see the recipe of cauliflower fry in instant pot. Here I have taken one medium size whole cauliflower and cut it into small florets. Usually cauliflower will have some small worms in it so we are going to blanch it in hot water. So I have boiled hot water and put the cauliflower florets in it for a minute and blanched it. Now we will strain the water in our blanched cauliflower florets to begin cooking. Our cleaned cauliflower florets are ready to cook. The ingredients needed are finely chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, finely chopped ginger and finely chopped garlic and sound and cumin seeds and few curry leaves. Switch on the instant pot in saute mode and add oil to it. Here I have added 1 tablespoon of olive oil. We will do tempering by adding cumin seeds and sound seeds. So this is a very flexible recipe. If you do not have any of these seeds for tempering, you can skip it and start with onions and tomatoes. Adding these will give nice flavor to our fry. Now I am adding curry leaves and going to give a sort of everything together. Now I am going to add finely chopped onions. After adding onions, I am going to add ginger and garlic chopped. Sort them for 2 minutes until the raw smell of ginger and garlic goes away and onion gets cooked. Now I am going to add tomatoes and for one whole cauliflower I have taken one big onion and one big tomato. These are the spices which we are going to add for our fry. 1 tablespoon salt, 2 tablespoon homemade chilli powder and 1 teaspoon turmeric. Onions and tomatoes are cooked well. Now I am going to add our spice powders along with the salt. So here I am using chilli powder homemade which is a mixture of chilli powder and coriander powder after two to three minutes the spice powders which we added along with the onion and tomato mixture will come together and will release get released in oil so this is the right stage to add our vegetables so in this way we can avoid the raw smell of the spices we added now i'm going to add our blanched cauliflower florets and mix everything together so after mixing cauliflower it may get stick to the bottom in that case add a tablespoon of water and mix everything together this step is called deglazing else the instant pot will show burn error while we close the instant pot lid now we will close the lid of our instant pot and cancel the saute mode and switch on the pressure cook mode and set the pressure to low and set timer to two minutes in low pressure seal the instant pot vent after 2 minutes in low pressure, quick release the instant pot pressure vent. After opening our instant pot lid, our cauliflowers are cooked well, but lot of steam is coming out from the instant pot as we did a quick release. Our cauliflower fry is cooked well and all the onions and tomatoes came together. I am going to add few chopped coriander leaves for green flavor in our cauliflower fry. Please do try this recipe and if you like this recipe, please subscribe to our channel and stay connected for future videos. Thank you.